biting, slandering. The Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Man lam yada'a qawla al-dhura wal-amala bihi, falisa lillahi haja fi an yada'a ta'ama wa sharaba. If you cannot stay away from lying, from backbiting, from those in that nature, Allah is not in need of you staying away from your food. So meaning you're not fasting, you're just punishing yourself. This is what we need to focus on the most. So in the day of judgment, my brothers and sisters, if you happen to fast like the way Allah wants from you and I, here is what the Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the day of judgment, when the sun is brought near, when our fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, they are running away from us. Each person is saying, Nafsi, Nafsi. The Prophet said, there will be two lawyers for a human being. All right, they will be standing next to you, one at your right hand corner, the other one at the left. The one at the right hand corner, guess who that is? Is fasting. He will say, Yati asiyam yaqul ya rabbi, haza abduka manatuhu ta'ama wa sharaba wa shahwata naharan fa shafi'ni fi. Oh Allah, this is your servant, female servant. I am the one who happened to stop him from eating, from drinking, and from his desires throughout the day. The Arab will say, Because of that, allow me to intercede on his behalf. So ask yourself, ask ourselves, is our fasting stopping us from drinking, eating, and from our desires or not? If yes, then Fabiha wa ni'ma, alhamdulillah. If not, then the month did not start yet. So we can make a decision from now on. And the second lawyer will be what? Quran. Kalamullah, the speech of Allah. Sifa min sifatillah. He will come, he will say, Ya Rabbi, haza abduka manatuhu nawma laylan fa shafi'ini fi. I am the one who happened to stop him from sleeping throughout the night. Because of that, give me a chance to beg you to intercede on his behalf. Now let us ask ourselves, what is keeping you up? What is keeping me up at the night? Is the Quran? All those nonsense programs. When the imam happened to recite one, two more minutes extra, there is a problem. Well, this is what the Quran is saying. I happen to keep him or her away from her bed. Because of that reason, allow me to intercede on his behalf. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will let these two things do their job. One is Siyam and the other one is Quran. My brothers and sisters, these are, this is authentic hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's not a makeup story. Go ahead and check it. So we have to make a decision from now on. Inshallah, we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to give us a chance to live to see the Ramadan and to fast as he wants from us and to increase our Iman and our Taqwa through that fasting. And there are so many other things to talk about it. But my brothers and sisters, the fruit of fasting is a Taqwa. If your level, the level of your taqwa did not increase, that means you really did not reap the fruit of the fast. So let us focus on that so we will not be doing a meaningless things. So at the end of the Ramadan, when your iman increase, your taqwa increase, everything else become easy. All right? We will not find so difficult to go into our pocket to support our programs, you know? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Inshallah, I think I'm going to stop here. I was going to take another route. But when you look at the Quran, you know, sometime I was checking online this uh, last year, they were doing a fundraising at the end of the month. It was very difficult for the fundraiser. I said, subhanAllah, did the level of our taqwa even change? Because if you have a taqwa, then the mutaqun, they have a characteristics. One of the outstanding characteristics is what? Spending. Go in the Quran and read. Anywhere Allah mentioned al-mutaqun, either before or with or after, he will say al-infaq. He will say, ذلك الكتاب لا ريب في هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون وسارعوا إلى مغفرة من ربكم وجنة عرضها السماوات والأرض أعدت للمتقين الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء And he will say, وسيجنبها الأتقى الذي يؤتي ما له يتزك all right, when the iman, when the taqwa is in the heart, giving your money is going to be the easiest thing. Anytime you find yourself so difficult for you to give the money to support the cause of Allah, wallahi, the level of taqwa and iman is very low. Now, at the end of the Ramadan, our responding towards our fundraiser will tell you and I how much of taqwa you have gained during the month of Ramadan. 
قلت ما قلت إن سوابا فمن الله and this is what I have it if it is correct from Allah may Allah accept it if I made any mistake may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me may you pardon me this is your brother Imam Usman originally from Mali now living in Chicago I come to spend the time with you today thank you for allowing me to be with you we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala